Yo, still Bills, what's the deal, man? Yo, I just dropped my daughter off at school. Oh, my God, I'm beat to hell, man. I went to the gym last night, man, Coach. Oh, my God, man. Well, I was expecting to go in there and spar. He took us through some rigorous workouts. <laughs> like, on the phone, you know, fight week, when fighters got to fight that week, it's no sparring in the gym. So, our fighters fight this weekend. So, he, the, man, the workout he put on us fucked me up, man. I'm tired of shit, man. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. But peep game, man, I want to talk about Andre Ward and just, you know, his comment says it, what, you know, what he said about Usyk and Wilder. Since Usyk has took initiative to say that he would like to fight Wilder, man, um, On one hand, it's understandable because Wilder, you know, what he's saying is, you know, Wilder is always, you know, he's dropped every opponent he's been in there with. He's dropped every opponent he's been in there with. So from that paradigm, I can understand it. And everybody is so high up on Tyson Fury because of how he was able to dismantle Deontay Wilder. And I, like he gets more credit for that Wilder win than he does with Klitschko reigning a 10 year a, a 10 year reign as a heavyweight champion unified heavyweight champion and that you know that's kind of an afterthought after how he did tight, uh, Deontay Wilder and it's just it just it's it's annoying it's, it's, it's fucking irritating man we do you can say Wilder's a top heavyweight you honestly can and what makes him a top heavyweight is simply his right hand. It's not nothing good that he does outside of him throwing that right hand. But you also have to look at it like this. Who has he landed that right hand on? What's the best opponents he's landed that right hand on? Luis Ortiz and Tyson Fury. Good wins. Luis Ortiz, he's not who it is that they're portraying him to be. We've explained this before in Tyson Fury. Is you know either number one or number two heavyweight in the division? It's understandable, man. But what people aren't understanding is this, man. Tyson Fury is also a much bigger target, and he's a lot easier to hit than somebody like Usyk. And they keep, they're just banking on the fact that all you know, you know that right hand is going to land at some point in time in the fight. Says who? Says who? I'm not convinced of that. I ain't convinced of that at all. I'm not convinced of that at all. I want you to, like, what Luis Ortiz was able to do in both of those Wilder fights, in both of those Wilder fights, as far as keeping him off balance, what do you think somebody like Usyk would be able to do with that? Who's a lot more agile, who's smaller who's a lot more craftier, who's faster, and who just has an overall better skill set with the footwork, the battle of foot positioning and counter punching and keeping you off balance. Look at everything Luis Ortiz was able to do to Wilder, just in that little, you know, that, that, that small name. You got to compare the two because they're both southpaws. But look at the level of success that Luis Ortiz was able to have with Deontay Wilder. Now amplify that when Usyk gets in there and he decides to fight him. Ortiz is not Usyk by any stretch of the imagination. Not even close. Usyk is officially a, one of the greats. Ortiz will not really be remembered like that unless you are <clears throat> unless you are a diehard of the sport. And that's just the long and short of it. That's just the long and short of it. But, because you know, it's like everything goes out of the window. And it's understandable because up until this point, everything has gone out of the window as Wilder is concerned because all he needs to do is throw that right hand and land it. So everything goes out the window when it pertains to him. But what you also have to take into consideration is the skill set. Once you start, once you start ascending... The uh, 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 the rankings and shit, and fighting motherfuckers who 
have proven chins and have a much higher ceiling than the opposition that you've been fighting, the degree of difficulty to land that shot that you're accustomed to landing becomes that much harder and that much more strenuous. Usyk is a slippery fighter. And who did Ortiz even fight for him to be deemed this, this, this demigod that they're trying to portray him to be? Now, I'm seeing people say, oh, man, Andy Ruiz and Usyk is a good fight. No, it's not. It's not. It's, 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 it's not. And the fact that y'all would even try to entertain that shit is just baffling to me. It's absurd. This, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, I, I just, I sit here and I'm just like, yo, man, just y'all, y'all. Uh, at the end of the day, we have to get to a level where it's like we can be level-headed about this. It's like, ah, right, yo, like this shit just isn't adding up. This shit isn't adding up. Andre Ward knows better. I don't know what it is, with, you know, with his admiration for Deontay Wilder, and I, I, just, I don't get it. I don't get it. If I'm not, you know, they don't, you know, Wilder's fans, and I think Wilder himself may even attack Andre Ward. I'm just like, why do y'all want to be embraced by this nigga so goddamn bad? You know what I'm saying? Like, to the point where it will get you to, you know, really just get outside of your, you know, your mind as it pertains to him. Y'all just go against the grain on, on behalf of him. Tyson Fury was going out of his way to be embraced by Deontay Wilder after being uh, um, accused of a, of a murder conspiracy plot. He was going out of his way, man, I, I just want to be his friend. I don't want to, I just want to, you know, just like, yo, there is anybody else with the skill set of a Deontay Wilder would be castigated completely castigated y'all are saying that he's gonna beat Usyk simply because he beat George uh, not George, but Ger uh, Gerald Washington and, 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 and Luis Ortiz and all these other fighters who aren't who have never been world champions Wilder gets a lot of praise for the Luis Ortiz win and it was a good win, but he like he got to stop dragging it. And because of that, he's seen as you know this titan. You dig? And it's like, bro, no, no. Good win. But you're saying you you're 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 saying that because he has landed that right that right hand with other fighters. Who are far less defensively competent than somebody like Usyk that that right hand is eventually going to find its way home and maybe because you can't fight Wilder on the outside and be successful maybe you can't you may have a point you know I can see I can understand that argument as well but what y'all are not understanding is you can't land a punch if you're not if you're off balance Usyk isn't going to have to sit there. Usyk isn't going to be there to be hit. He's just not. And Wilder isn't as physically imposing as Usyk. Or not Usyk, but uh, as a Anthony Joshua. To where he would have to worry about burning through his energy reserves. He's not going to have to worry about that. Because Wilder's going to be looking to hit him with that bomb from the outside. Usyk is slippery. Usyk will jab to your circle jab you to your lead hand, keeping you off balance. So for you to even land that shot, you have to completely shift your body. No. Wilder doesn't pivot. He doesn't he, he doesn't do none of that. It's just past ridiculous, man. Like this dude's feet be all over the place, man. Luis Ortiz was destroying Wilder from a skill set standpoint in their last fight, and he walked just drunkenly walked right into that man's right hand and got clipped walked right into it mental lapse you comfortable you fell asleep at the wheel 
There goes the right hand, nap time. Usyk doesn't have those defensive lapses. He doesn't. And it's just, oh, man, well, if AJ could do it, AJ is a lot more craftier than Deontay Wilder when it comes to setting up punches. We've seen Wilder in there with Ortiz. We've seen him in there with goddamn Fury. We haven't seen him in there with a Joseph Parker. We haven't seen him in there with a Hergovic. We haven't seen him in there with a Zile Zhang or something like that. We ain't even seen him in there with a fucking uh, 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 um, Frankie Sanchez. Can we get an F.A. at Jogba? We gonna see him in there with Robert Hellanius and I'm not mad at that fight. I'm not mad at it at all. But I'm just saying, man, let's see him in there with other top 10 opponents first. Top 10 opponents who've actually been in there with other season top 10 opponents. Luis Ortiz was a top 10 opponent, but he had yet to been in there with other season top 10 opponents. Not none that was like, oh man, yo, Luis Ortiz just beat him. Oh shit. Been there with Malik Scott and. And then, you know, everybody know what to. Everybody feel how they feel about that fight. They feel you threw that shit away. Brian Jennings, all right? But, come on, man. Like, the heavyweight division in America was putrid for years. They were trying to build Brandon Gen or Brian Jennings as a, as a, as the next thing up, but it just it just didn't pan out. So I'm saying, man, like we got to get off of this theory that because he was able to do what he did to fucking Luis Ortiz, and you know that's a revelation of how he would do any and everybody else, and it's not because we haven't seen Luis Ortiz in there with a multitude of other top ten heavyweights. And when he did, we all just saw what happened a few weeks ago with Andy Ruiz. We all saw how the Charles Martin fight went back in fucking January. He won the fight by knockout, but he was extremely exposed. He looked, it was an extremely lackluster uh, a performance. He hit the deck twice. It was possibly on the way to being stopped. He was getting dominated, and he landed a really well, he, he landed a well-placed shot and was able to get him up out of here. Was getting his ass beat. So no, I'm not about. I'm, I'm not about to. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. And I'm not saying that Deontay Wilder isn't a threat. As long as he has that nuclear right hand, he is a threat. But we got to keep shit in perspective. And people get lost with with that perspective as it pertains to Deontay Wilder. It's like y'all y'all ignore any and everything. Y'all ignore all that shit. Y'all ignore all that shit because y'all want to continue to keep up this facade of him being this untouchable heavyweight. And the only reason why he lost is because he got cheated. And it was long counts. And spike water. And horseshoes in the gloves. Like I just I just really nobody want nobody likes to keep shit in perspective, man. And that's what that irritates me. Deontay Wilder's a threat to any heavyweight in history, honestly. In history. Maybe with the exception of someone like a George Foreman. Or, uh, you know, just somebody. Like, I can't. I know George Foreman had one of the better chins in the division. In the history of the division. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Even what. He'd be a threat to Lennox Lewis. He'd be a threat to Mike Tyson. He'd be a threat to everybody because of how devastating his right hand is. But you have to get to a uh, you have to get to a point where it's like, all right, that's just not gonna be enough. And we saw that when it was Tyson Fury stepping in there. We barely had Luis Ortiz had some better oppositions to sharpen his tools. He, he could have possibly cruised to a 12-round decision. And even with uh, Usyk, he's been in there with bigger dudes. Everybody's, you know, talking about the the the, uh, um, the Joshua fight. We forgot he fought fucking um, Joe Joyce. No headgear, no nothing. Like this dude is legitimately different, dog. Like you, it's not. Everybody is so fixated on the fact that 
oh man, the Furious, he was, you know, 300 pounds going into that fight. Okay. He, what does that have to do with Usyk? What does it, it's two completely different skill sets, man. Like, Usyk, was, uh, Usyk ain't gonna be able to wrap him up and lean on him and put all that extra weight on him and fatigue him fast. Hey, he didn't even do that in the third fight and he still was exhausted by the first round was over. You don't think him getting hit and eating shots that he can't see coming from angles isn't going to exhaust him mentally and physically? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I just want people just, it, it, it's, it's irritating, man. It's just, that right hand is going to land, says who? And if it does, who's to say that it's going to affect him to the degree that y'all thinking it is? This man has never touched the canvas and he's been in there with punchers. You can say whatever the fuck it is you want about Anthony Joshua. He's a puncher. He is a puncher. And he never touched the canvas. Did he look beat up and bludgeoned? Yeah. Did he touch the canvas? No. Was he ever in danger of hitting the canvas? No. Even when his gas tank was compromised, man, he was able to dig deep and use tools to his advantages that he had that Joshua didn't. Scoring shots. At this point, it ain't about trying to knock this dude out and gain his respect to stop him from coming forward. Let's keep him off balance. Let's throw these check right hooks and spin him so he'd have to reset his, uh, you know, his forward progression and which way he's going. Let's do that. Let's one, two, and step out the way. We not one, two, and then take a picture for the for the camera. No, we're not doing that. He was able to do that with his mouth wide open, which is a sign of exhaustion. Everybody talks about how tired Anthony Joshua was at the end of the fight, but they never talk about how tired Usyk was at the end of the fight. That man was breathing with his mouth open. So let's just stop playing games, man. I don't, I don't, I, I just, I, I think, it, you know, people, niggas get really besides themselves when it's time to speak on Anthony, uh, Deontay Wilder. All logic goes out of the window as it pertains to Wilder because of how devastating his right hand is, which is understandable because he's landed it on every opponent that he's faced. Every opponent that he's faced, he's landed it on. Cool, I, I understand that. But as slick as Fury was in that first fight, he's not as slick as Usyk. He's not. He's slick for a big man. It's a difference. He's slick for a big man. He's slick for a big man. Usyk is slick regardless because he's not even a, considered a big man in the division that he's in. He's a little guy in a fucking arena full of giants. Even Wilder, he weighs more than Wilder. Yeah, but Wilder is so much more taller than him. He's a threat, yes. Could he land the right hand? Yes, he could. I'm not gonna say that he can't. The what? The the right hand that does the devastating uh, damage that it does. He may not be able to land that shot because Usyk is too slippery. That's my point. He may not that 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 shot that matters. That's going to put him on the canvas and if not get him out of there, just have his brain in a blender to where he can't recover from that shot. That's the shot that I'm talking about. That's the shot that I'm talking about. Not so sure that lands. So get out of this mind state that, oh man, he did this and that and this third to so-and-so. And because he did that to him, he's automatically going to do it to Usyk. No, bro. No. No. Never in my life have I seen inept usurp skill. Ineptitude usurp skill. You need more tools in the toolbox, man. And it looks like he's trying to get that. I, 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 like one thing, Wilder I'm talking about. 
One thing about Wilder, he's definite. Like Malik Scott put him on the right path as far as developing his technique. I, I see that. I definitely see that. But none of it has really came into fruition in a fight because he's, he's take not only did he take too long to you know to try to learn that shit, but he, you know, he just he just took too long to try to learn that shit. Now you're gonna go in here and try and and, and think you're gonna land the right hand that everybody's gonna see coming on a dude whose boxing brain has been developing since he started boxing. And expect the res and respect uh, you know proper results like bro that no that's not the business bro that's not the business so don't talk to me about oh that right hand is gonna land because that is not necessarily true that's not necessarily true and Deontay Wilder's gonna fight him says who says who Man, just, just, just stop. Just stop. Let's at least see how he does in the next few weeks against Robert Hellenius. We are all expecting him to win that fight, by the way. I think he's going to win. I think it's a good fight. I honestly do. He's lost to fighters that Wilder has beat. Stopped. He, he's lost to them. I, yo, okay, you know. He had a hiccup. He's on the come. He's been on the comeback since. I'm not mad at this fight. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I think Hellenius, with, with how he fights, is, is gonna is gonna work against him. But I do think it's gonna be a good fight. I was listening to Rummy's corner. He said he's gonna get him out of there in two. I don't know about that. I do not know about that. But I do think Wilder's gonna get you know gonna eradicate this dude. But let's just wait and see if he does. Because if he can't get past a dude who has good, a, a, a good boxing acumen, then I don't want to hear shit about him doing uh, knocking out no more fucking Usyk. I want to hear. I want to hear. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas be bugging, bro. Just like Andre Ward. What the fuck? I, I don't know, man. Just that, That's pretty much all I got to say about this shit, man. It, it, it vexes me to see that niggas just go out like this and completely disregard skill set for somebody with, you know, a one-trick pony. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not ever going to be favor of, favor of that. That shit is corny to me, man. But that's all I got to say about this shit, man. I'm going to work. I'll get with y'all niggas later, man. Deuces.